What's going on? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> What's going on, Squealer Squad? I am Squealer, and today we are doing another Family Guy reaction. Now, look, this video is called Quagmire Melts. I don't even want to know or think about what that means. But anyway, this video was created by who? Uh, Meg Griffin. They chose it. I didn't. So, if you guys want to go check out her channel, the, the link will not be in the description down below because I am recording on my phone. And, <clears throat> I'm going to clear my throat there. Anyway, if you guys want to walk, go to her channel and watch this video yourself, you're just going to have to search it up because, again, I don't know. <laughs> so, anyway, let's get into the video. An aide to Mayor... Sorry, I had to turn it down just a little bit. ...stabbed to death at the mayor's mansion. That's right, Tom. Police say the victim was killed by a knife belonging to the mayor, who is considered the prime suspect at this time. Oh my god! Uncle Adam! Also found in the mayor's residence was a blackmail note from the victim threatening to expose the mayor in a corruption scandal unless the victim was paid off. Okay, okay, you think that humiliates me? You, I, I don't care. Oscar De La Hoya does it. We now go live to Trisha Takanawa, who is outside the mayor's... Wait, mayor. wait, wait. Who? 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> oh, man. Tom, I'm standing outside the mayor's mansion where, against the wishes of his attorneys, the mayor has agreed to an impromptu press conference. <laughs> Yes, I'll take a question from the reporter from the Quahog Elementary School Gazette, Timmy. This has been Trisha Takanawa with the news. Wait, now... wait, you guys are asking questions if he did do the murder whenever he is wearing a white shirt covered in a red substance. Don't you kind of see where you can make the connection there saying that he did do the murder? I mean, am I just assuming things? Am I wrong? Actually, yeah, I am assuming things. But, whatever. I will have my normal post-news review from my mom in her car. You're no good! You're no good at news! You're stiff like watching porn! Joe London mother so happy! Trisha Takanawa mother so sad! The man's going to jail! That means anything goes! Pushed a lady. God, I can already hear the jokes Jay Leno is going to be telling about our mayor. Oh, yeah? Like what? Uh, you know, it's like you can already hear them, you know? Like what? Like exactly what jokes do you hear? Tell me one of the jokes. Well, I guess you just never know what kind of rage some people have bottled up. Well, we all got anger, Chris. The important thing is finding a healthy way to channel it. For me, as you know. Hey, man, I'm trying to plug in my <clears throat> selfie light here. There. Oh, that's brighter. <coughs> Ah. Don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> I don't do drugs. I don't do drugs. <laughs> it was just, it's just a joke. Don't take that seriously. I'm looking at you, parents. I'm looking at you. Well, it's the family bath. Peter, how long do we have to sit here? Until I'm not angry anymore. Sorry. I had to fart. <laughs> I'm not editing that out. You naked bunch of bitches! Oh! Everyone, please be seated. We will now hear the defense attorney's closing statement. I switched seats. In closing, although it seems pretty clear that my client committed this murder, I would consider it a personal favor to me if you found him not guilty. That's your closing argument? Jesus Christ. Jurors, you have now heard all the facts of this case. Oh my god. I remind you that because we are a small town, many of you may have ties with the defendant or the victim. You must set aside these personal connections and render an impartial and unanimous verdict. I, I just don't understand. How could Uncle Adam do this? He's the mayor of our town. Well, Meg, life isn't always as simple as what they teach you at school. I don't know, Mom. I have a pretty realistic home ec class. Okay, kids, now I'm going to take the casserole out of the oven. Okay, it's a little burned. 
no reason to panic. Oh, God, that's Daddy. God, that meeting went awful. Oh, boy. What's that smell? Did you burn dinner, you stupid pig? Okay, kids, put your heads down. Put your heads down and don't try to stand between me and your father. It'll just make it worse. So I've been asked by the judge to be... Domestic abuse is not okay, children. For those of you who are watching, that's just a little heads up for you minors out there that domestic abuse is not the answer to everything. Only to whenever she's not making you a sandwich. After you've asked about maybe five times. I'm a scumbag. <laughs> Domestic abuse isn't all right in any situation. Get the and I want y'all to know that we's gonna run a fair jury and a clean jury. So I brought some wet naps for everyone to wipe off the areas. Cause one of us gets sick, we's all gonna get sick. And that may lead to some of us getting sicker than others. Well, can we get this underway? I mean, we were all in that courtroom. What, what is there to discuss? It's obvious he did it. Exactly. Yes, it's open and shut. Let's just vote him guilty and get out of here. Look, I know everyone's in a hurry, but shouldn't we at least go over the evidence once before we vote, just to be fair? You know what would shed some light on this case? If we huck water balloons at people in the street. They were carrying a trampoline. Okay, let's get down to business. All in favor of guilty, raise your hands. Guilty. All guilty. Good. Well, that's it. Let's get out of here. Anyone for not guilty? Pizza for dinner. And who wants Purina Moist and Meaty Dog Chow? Oh, oh, I had that for breakfast. Look, the system specifies the defendant must be proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. Mayor West's life is on the line here. I'm just saying it's possible he didn't do it. Oh, my God. That's for the jury to decide. Mayor West is crazy. He should have been locked up a long time ago. Yeah, there's definitely something off about him. I'm his physician. Look, we all saw that blackmail note. Mayor West is the only one with a motive. I don't even know why we're discussing it. Well, was Mayor West the only one with a motive? I mean, there are people who would benefit if he were put away for murder. Political rivals, special interests. I mean, it's possible he could have been framed. a movie with Jennifer Lopez that did not live up to expectation. Look, we should be sticking to the facts, not stereotypes. It's unfair to say that all politicians are liars, therefore Mayor West is guilty. Brian's right. I was a county alderman once, and I never told no fib. I bent over backwards and forwards for them constituents. It's important to make sure everyone is happy, so I took a lot of polls. Gay stuff. <laughs> I was frightened until Quagmire goes, oh, gay stuff. <laughs> I gotta watch that again. And I never told no fib. I've been over backwards and forwards for them constituents. It's important to make sure everyone is happy, so I took a lot of polls. Uh, gay stuff. Yeah, and I served honorably as a UN interpreter. Conatra. Okay, he's mad about something. Some way they're always bringing stuff to the table so you have something to talk about. You know, hey, what's this? This looks good. That's it. War! Oh, war! War! That last sentence was about war! Look, an expert confirmed that the blackmail note was signed by the victim. That points irrefutably to West. Bailiff, please. Yeah? Mr. Bailiff, we request that you bring us the note from the victim. Yo! What the hell are you doing out there? You're a cop, not a bailiff. Yeah, I'm undercover. Someone's been raping all the bailiffs. So you're just sitting around waiting to be raped? Hey, bailiff, can I talk to you for a second in this broom closet? Sure, strange man. I can't wait to hear what this is all about. That Mayor West's enemy faked a corruption letter and then... Is it bad that he's not going to feel it? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Kill himself? That's idiotic! You know, something bothered me about the stationery that note was on with the, the decorative M border. It's from the office of the mayor. The M is for mayor. What are you getting at? 
No, no, I'm pretty sure the M is for Marriott. How do you know? Because I once got a note from the Marriott written on the same paper. <gasps> Dear Brian, you were amazing last night. Love, Ida. Ah, it is from the night you had sex with Quagmire's dad. Oh, come on! He handmade a letterhead on stationery from a Marriott? As far as I'm concerned, that cast doubt. Oh, he's oh, 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 oh. Look, if I'm still the only one who says not guilty, I won't hold things up any longer. Let's vote again, and I'll abstain. If it's unanimous, I'll change my vote, and we can all go home. Hey, Quagmire, you, you gonna write something funny? Oh, Peter, I'm not. I'm starting to think all you do is dick around. Sorry. Everyone vote? Okay, now let's count. Guilty. Guilty. This one's just a squiggly line. That's, uh, that's guilty in Latin. You're playing a dangerous game, Carl. Guilty. Not guilty. <laughs> I fought it during the murmuring. Bruce didn't change his vote. I did. I respect Brian's courage. It's not easy to stand alone or find the child who stands alone. But that's the one you want. Look, we have been cooped up in this room for five hours now. I'm starting to feel like an animal in a cage. Yeah, or a T-Rex trying to masturbate. Let's go. Uh -huh. Ah, 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 ah. It's funny because he has short arms. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and that's why they were such vicious killers. Luckily, he found a wife so he could have sex. The non masturbate Tyrannosaurus Rex. Mrs. <laughs> starting to get a little heated, so why don't we all go take us a little potty break? Now you're all going to have to witness me taking an old man pill that looks way too big to swallow. It's his fault we're still here. How is it you think you know everything anyway? You don't even understand your feelings for the mailman. <laughs> you get out of here, I'll kill you. But come back tomorrow, same time. I get very sad on Sundays when you're not here. <laughs> God damn it. What happened? I dropped my phone in the toilet. Oh my God, why haven't I found it yet? Oh no, I didn't roll my sleeve up far enough. Oh, why didn't I flush when I got in here? <sighs> No, oh, that's nasty. This is ridiculous. Even if you don't believe the note was legitimate, there was an eyewitness who saw the entire thing. Well, I have questions about her testimony. She said she was at a party. Not just any party, a sex party. Now, how could a woman at an orgy witness a murder? The bedroom was a hundred feet from the window. Look, I'll demonstrate. You people come here. Okay, Tom, you're over here on all fours. Carter, I need your face right here. Now, even closer. You're going to want to feel the heat coming off of me. Okay, Consuela, I'm going to need you on your knees. And we're probably part way into it here, so one of your eyes is stuck shut. All the way shut. There are 11 of us, dear. Bruce seems like the only gamer here. Thanks. It's okay to look the other way when y'all pass me on the street with y'all's wives. I understand. That places the witness right here, <laughs> next to the lubricating station and the terrible smelling guest book. Would she be face up? No, she had small breasts, but a great ass. She's definitely face down. But then, how could she see the window? Oh my god. This is what I call the butter pat. Oh my. So that's what it means by quagmire melts. Well, I've seen all I can handle. This is just not good. So anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and or subscribe and hit the notification bell because it will let you know the next time I make a new video and I will see all of you in the next one. See you later.